so it's yarn time again <laughs> and today I'm going to be showing you my childhood pictures now according to many laws I'm still a child because I'm still 16 but when I refer to childhood I'm referring to sort of ages 0 up to sort of 12 and I know 12 isn't you know it's quite recent but because I'm young it's ages ago for me <laughs> but anyway let's get started on the little baby pictures so this is me and my older brother I, I was zero um, I think I was newborn here um, well not newborn but a couple of weeks old um, and my older brother was two so there's that there look Nicholas is his name is and this is me little baby me <laughs> I was born on the 2nd of October 2001 <laughs> And this is also a picture of little baby me. Look at that. I still have a good snooze. And I always think that with the sort of the baby cushions and the baby clothes, it all seems very comfortable. I think they should just supersize it so I can fit into them. Now this is a picture of me when I was a couple of days old with Nicholas steering it. Now, this is a picture of me when I was, I think I was just a couple of days old and my older brother, Nicholas, was staring at me and realising he was going to have a good few years of fun. Look at that, look. He's, he's just realising, oh, he's gorgeous. I am quite cute, no kidding. I mean, I don't think I'm too cute now, but back then I was lovely. Um, <laughs> it's quite ironic because I was, I was quite a porky baby and look what's right below it. Nicholas looking at me. Nicholas looking at ham. <laughs> I did resemble a, a piece of ham. And here's another picture of me as a baby, slightly older and slightly more happy. <laughs> I haven't changed at all. <laughs> I still look, I still look a couple of months old. <laughs> now this is also a picture of me as a baby, but I think I, well, I think I just turned one. I'm not too sure. It was taken in 2002. But uh, this me, I'm in the chair, and my older brother Nicholas is in um, is kneeling down next to me. And what I find funny is that, that that's me, but uh, that, that, so I can see anything I want about that baby, and I won't offend anyone because I'm just talking about myself. So you're a fat, ugly baby who stinks, and I don't offend anyone because I'm talking about myself. Hmm. Now in this picture, you can tell which one's me because. I've got my name on the top, so uh, see that there, Yayan. I think I was about three or four there. I'm not too sure, but uh, I was definitely young. Now this is me dressed up as Father Christmas at the age of four. <clears throat> yes, you know, at this age, I sort of had a thing for dressing up. You know, one minute I'd be Father Christmas, then I'd be a penguin. Then I'd be Postman Pat, then I'd be Doctor Who, you know. I, I was just one of those kids who, whose imagination would just wander. This is me graduating from play school to primary school. <laughs> I think they just did that for a laugh, but it was a proper mortarboard. I think that's how you pronounce it, mortarboard. Either more, well, it won't be motorboard, would it? Because <laughs> there'd be cars driving over your head. Now, of all the pictures ever taken of me, this is my mother's favourite, because you'll see. Uh, I'm the one who looks like they found out their cat's just died. But look at that! My head looks too big for my body. My eye, I got big puppy dog eyes. I don't know why my mother bought that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember why I was crying. I think it was my... I had a plaster on my finger and it came off and I was absolutely traumatised. But <laughs> This is me eating candy floss at the age of four. <laughs> I always loved... I've always loved sweets. This is me on a train at the age of three or four, so that's me. Uh, look at the, the window. <laughs> look at the window. <laughs> outside the window. There's something outside the window. Look at the window. <laughs> And this is me about the age of five holding an onion with my older brother. 
I always had an obsession with onions. It's quite a big onion, but I, I always just like peeling onions. I don't know why. It's almost like a stress toy or something. I was never stressed, but it was just sort of a satisfying thing to do. Now we're going to jump forward a little bit to the age of 10. Um, now this is sort of where things didn't, you know, everybody has that time in their lives where things just don't really go too well. Mine started quite early when I was about 10. Now I thought I was being cool wearing a, a shirt over a t-shirt. I'm not sure you can quite see it there, but there's me holding a fish with a, a shirt over my t-shirt. I, I look terrible, but you know, we all had those those couple of years where nothing really went right for us. This is me, aged 11. I just began secondary school or comprehensive school and that, that is sort of where I realised I want really long hair because before then I sort of had a bowl cut and, and you know, I don't think it, really, it doesn't really look right, you know, there's, there's just something about that that doesn't look right. I think it's because this bit here on this side sort of sticks out like that, it doesn't really look right. Um, but on the same page, it's a picture of me and my little brother. <laughs> I was 12 in that picture and Jack was only about a month old. Ah. <laughs> this is me on a skiing trip when I was 13. Yes. This is me on a skiing trip when I was 13. So this it there. That's it there. Look. Oh my goodness, and there's a couple of strange pictures there, but let's ignore those. But look, there's me skiing! I love skiing. And this is my most recent school photo. It's recent, but I look horrible. <clears throat> Here we go. This was November just gone. And look at it. I mean, uh, I don't know what was going through my head, but I didn't have my hair done properly. It was sticking up on the sides. It was greasy, and my teeth looked yellow. And my jumper's too big for me. It, it just all looks doesn't really look too well. And I just thought, that's my last ever school picture. That's going to be in the end of your, um, the school yearbook. That picture there. It looks hideous. It is ridiculous. That's it for childhood pictures. <laughs> um, I hope you've had fun. <laughs> I had fun reminiscing. But anyway, <laughs> I want to know, you know, what, what did you look like as a child? Why don't, why don't you try and rummage through and look for your own little kid pictures? Seriously, it's a great experience. You should try it out. But anyway, that's it for Yang Time for now. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry if I um, leave you for quite a while. I've got a heck of a lot of exams coming up. I've got 19 exams coming up starting on Tuesday. Ooh. But anyway... I'll get those exams done, then I'll come back to you with some more yarn time. Uh, my last exam is on the 19th of the 6th, so I'll see if I can film one and get one out then. Cheese. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Well, you don't have to, but it, it would be great if you did, because it would keep, it'd keep, keep my self-confidence up. But anyway, the like button is there if you want to tell me you like me. The dislike button is there if you want to tell me you want to punch me in the face. Thank you very much for watching again. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.